What's up guys and welcome to my channel. So for today's video I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. It's been about a month since I posted my last one so I figured I would show you everything that I picked up on my last trip. I didn't get a ton of stuff but the stuff that I did get was super exciting so let's jump right in. So I'm going to start off with what I was most excited about and that was this personal care body wash and this is in the scent peach rings and it smells absolutely divine and can you guys tell what this is duping? How crazy is that? I feel like Dollar Tree was spot on with what they were duping. Um, I love the native body washes. They're very expensive. So to find this at Dollar Tree was insane. And I got super lucky because I actually found all three and I was really not expecting to find these at my Dollar Tree. I would say my favorite scent is peach rings and then coconut vanilla and then jelly beans. Um, the jelly beans one still smells really good but it's just not like a scent that I love. It literally smells like jelly beans. Kind of reminds me of Tutti Fruity Candy from Bath and Body Works. So yeah, that was super exciting. I haven't tried them yet, but they smell really, really good. Um, and the native ones are super expensive. I think this one that I found was on clearance, and it, I want to say it was still like seven-ish dollars. So a dollar twenty-five for each of these was incredible. And now let's jump into some beauty stuff. Whenever I go to Dollar Tree, for whatever reason, I tend to just go right into the beauty section. It's just um, something that always kind of like I gravitate towards. So I was super, super excited to find this cherry scented highlighter and blush. I was not expecting to find this. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Physician's Formula. It's just so pretty and it looks like you can use it as a highlighter or a blush or kind of just swirl your brush and uh, have like a two-in-one product. And I didn't realize that this is cherry scented so I'm going to go ahead and smell it right now. So this really doesn't have much of a scent, but I still do think it is really pretty and really worth it because it really does look like something that Physicians Formula would come out with. Like even the packaging I think is absolutely adorable. So now I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. So that is it swatched on my arm and I think it's actually a really stunning highlighter. I really really like sort of like pinky highlighters. And the next thing I found in this sort of like cherry collection is this cherry scented lip gloss and I thought the color was actually really pretty so I'm going to swatch it for you guys right now. That is really pretty and it's almost kind of like a terracotta kind of shade, like a sheer terracotta. I think this is really pretty and I'm really excited to use it and again the packaging is adorable. The next thing that I found were these mini powder puffs and I haven't seen anybody haul these so that's super exciting that I found them and I feel like these are really trendy right now. I actually just bought a beauty uh, blender uh, little puff thing and I got that one on sale for around $10, but I still think this is a really good deal because for the most part, I only ever kind of like powder underneath my eyes or just kind of powder wherever I need just a little bit of coverage when I'm a little bit red. So I thought these were perfect and absolutely adorable. So the next thing I found was this eyelash case and I've seen people haul this before and for whatever reason I just really wasn't having any luck and finally my Dollar Tree had it in stock. They also had a cherry patterned um, sort of case, but I thought this one was a lot cuter and I'm actually going on a trip to go visit family soon So I figured this was a perfect way to store my lashes when I'm traveling or just in general I feel like I always kind of need a little case for my eyelashes They just kind of end up all over my bathroom counter. So I thought this was perfect So this was another thing I was hoping to find and I'm so glad that I found it. They also had a uh, Vaseline um, scented one or unscented I should say this one is cocoa butter scented but I figured I would get more use out of the cocoa butter one um, and now that I know that they were like duping an actual Vaseline product um, 
I really want to get the actual Vaseline one that has shimmer on it. I've seen people kind of like putting it on their shoulders or decollete area and it just looks like a really pretty highlighter especially for summer but I'm still going to use this on my body and I think this is just like perfect to throw in your purse and you, like you don't have to deal with like the messiness of a lotion on the go. And this doesn't have much of a scent. The scent is very subtle, so if you guys aren't like super into that cocoa butter scent, this one isn't all that strong. It just kind of has that like Vaseline texture, but it's just not as messy. So another thing that I found in the makeup section was this LA Colors Creamy Finish Lipstick in, this, in the shade Take It Easy, and I thought it was just so pretty and I will swatch it here for you in a second, but on the uh, packaging it almost looks like it's metallic. That is super pretty, it's kind of hard to see on my skin just because I'm a little bit tan at the moment but that is really really pretty it almost reminds me of a mac lipstick that i have and it's in the shade kind of sexy so this was another thing that i was really hoping to find and it's a spa headband with a little lime and it's like a fluffy pink um sort of band and if you guys have bangs i really really recommend these for when you're washing your face or doing your makeup just so it kind of like stays out of your face i'm sure everybody's used this but that's kind of just like my little tip um and i absolutely love lime so that's why i felt like i had to have this i'm like obsessed with lime so i thought this was super fitting for me they also had different colors and different fruits i can't really remember off the top of my head i want to say one was a pineapple but this lime one i just thought was super adorable so in the hair section they always have really really adorable hair clips and this is the one that i chose there was definitely quite a bit of a selection if you actually stay till the end of the video i'm going to insert pictures of cool things that i found but i just didn't need or didn't buy and on that uh, picture that I took there was some hair accessories so make sure you stay tuned for that but I thought this one was just so adorable and I love this little like chain I thought that it would be perfect for um, just lazy days when you put your hair back um, in a hair clip and this little like accessory I feel like will really make your outfit stand out but I love this I love the gold and I just know that I will uh, wear this so this next thing that I found was a facial hair remover and it looks honestly kind of scary but I figured why not for $1.25 try it and here are the directions so I will let you know how this works out for me so hopefully uh, this works out decently. So the next thing I found were these scented garbage bags and I got it in Mountain Air. They also had lemon and I want to say lavender and this comes in a pack of 40 and it's a it's for a four gallon um, trash can which I thought was perfect for um, my bathroom trash can so I thought that was a pretty good find 40 bags for $1.25 and they actually smell pretty decent I can smell it through the um, plastic so yeah this was another great find so now I'm going to move on to all the food stuff that I bought and I thought this was really cool. I don't think I've ever seen this at Dollar Tree and I thought this was really appropriate for summer. I feel like funnel cakes whenever you're out at like a carnival or you know wherever they're selling them at the zoo, places like that, they're very very expensive. So I figured if you know I can come close to making it how they make it then it's a score and it also says it makes six. So I thought that was a really great find. And here are the directions so yeah for a dollar 25 I thought that was really really great and if you guys want me to update you on how this turns out just let me know so I thought this was another really really cool thing um, to find at Dollar Tree it's Betty Crocker brownie cups in rainbow fudge and my kids love brownies so I figured I would try this out and I would think that at Walmart it sells for way more than a dollar 25 so I will let you guys know how these turn out. So this is nothing too exciting, it's just a microwave package of jasmine rice, but I feel like these always really come in handy when I don't have time to cook rice. You just microwave these for 90 seconds. And um, at, usually at Walmart, they're around $2, so it's not much of a savings, but it, it, it is a little bit of a savings, which is great. And if you guys download the Walmart app, my tip is if you're ever in Dollar Tree, like looking in the food section or wherever, um, pull up the Walmart app and you can always compare prices because even if I can save like 25 cents, um, I'll still just grab it at Dollar Tree. 
So I've never seen sauerkraut at the dollar store before, but this was in 16 ounces and in my family we're always making Reuben sandwiches or like a Reuben dip um, and we just really like sauerkraut so I figured for $1.25 that was a pretty good find. Okay, so the next thing I found were these uh, corn tostadas and this is in 8.8 .8 ounces um, and again I compared this to what was at Walmart and this was just a little bit cheaper not by much but I figured if I'm gonna make these anyway I might as well get them at Dollar Tree so I thought that was another cool find so the last thing I got were these like sort of dupe Pringles and it's called Super Stack Salt and Vinegar. So I thought that was a pretty good find. This was for my son. He absolutely loves these. He says he prefers the Pringles, but these are also really, really good. Alright guys, so that is my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I feel like I got really, really cool stuff. I didn't get a whole lot, but the things that I did get, I really, really love. And make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video so you can see all the cool things that I took pictures of but didn't buy. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in my next one.